Hello everyone and welcome back to another study with me. For today's study with me, I'm going to be showing some of the different study techniques and activities that I'm using to prepare for the next semester of university. I've had quite a long Christmas break and I decided to spend part of the last week preparing for the classes I'm going to take. So for my second semester, I will be taking electricity and modern physics, maths and programming, as well as my first university chemistry course. So as you saw, I started by making a to-do list, which I've done every day this week. For physics, I've spent about equal amounts of time on learning the material and testing myself with practice questions. Here I'm making a summary on the chapter on electric forces and electric fields, and on this day I was working on the subchapter on Gauss's law. Once lectures start next week, I will be adding information from the lectures to these notes so that I'll have all of the information from both the textbook and the lectures in one place. After I'd finished my notes, I went through some practice questions on Gauss's law. I find that it's very useful to test myself after I've made notes, both because I can check if I've actually understood what I've just written down, and also because it really makes me pay attention when writing notes, as I know I'll be using what I've learned for the questions afterwards. Then I moved on to chemistry, and as this will be the first chemistry class I'm taking in university, and also because it's been a while since I took chemistry in high school, I really wanted to make sure that I was as prepared as possible before I start. So what I've found especially useful has been to go through example problems like the one I'm doing here. I've been doing this for the foundation chapters that we will not be going through in lectures, and this week I've also done it for the chapter we'll go through next week, which is gases. After I've gone through example problems, I've of course also done practice questions, but I had already finished the relevant ones in my textbook, which is why I didn't record myself doing it. For maths this semester, we'll be doing some programming, which I've actually never done before. So this upcoming semester, we'll be using MATLAB, and I believe we're going to work with Python later. But what I've done for maths is that I found a course on the MATLAB website, which helps you learn the basics, which I found to be very helpful as I've never done anything like this before. We're probably going to go through the basics pretty quickly once lectures start, so it's been nice to do this at my own pace this week. As you may see, this was filmed over the course of a few days, and here I'm back with chemistry again. Here I'm making an overview for the chapter on gases, where I've summarized the most important information from the textbook, written down formulas, and also written down keywords with a bit of extra space so that I can test myself after the lectures next week. I made this really quickly, and this will mostly be a support for me next week as we go through the material, and I will also make proper summary notes after the lectures are complete.
Then finally, I'm back with physics again, and here I'm doing something similar to what I did for chemistry. I'm just making a quick summary of the most important topics that I'll be keeping alongside my notes based on the lectures. I also did some more practice questions for physics, and these were just some summary questions at the end of the chapter. I find it useful to do these questions at the end of the week so that I can see if I remember what I've learned, and if there's something that I need to revise once more before my lectures. So that's it for this study with me. I hope this could give you some motivation as well as tips for different study techniques to try out yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video.